Good morning Davao, good morning Mindanao, good morning North, South, East and West. This is Gilbert Lopez Martí Cazzo. For the headlines, weather forecast, Easter list affecting Mindanao, local news, SP to probe into DIA conditions amid visitors concerns, SP tightens anti-smoking measures to protect minors. Rain forecast, heat caution for Davao. DCPO reputes compulsory hearing claims sans charges. National news. PNP approves new policy mandating removal of tattoos among personnel. Qatar, Philippines forge stronger ties. International news. India votes in world's biggest election. Israel military intelligence chief quits over 7 October. Entertainment news. Taylor Swift takes aims at critic with new track. P awards back to receive Global Fashion Influencers of the Year Award in Dubai. And for the sports. PLDT takes on Creamline, Cherry Tigo faces Galleries Tower as, as last semis tickets hangs in the balance. Bellingham late strike gave real win over Barcelona. Featured stories, Matza Ball Soup, a new take on Jewish classic. Bangos Art Exhibit, Earth Day Run, and more. Side Story. And for the trivia, do you know that Dabo City vibrant art scene can be explored in various galleries and museums? Weather Forecast. Dabo Oriental and Dabo Occidental will have cloudy skies with scattered rain showers and thunderstorms due to easterlist. The rest of Mindanao will have partly cloudy to cloudy skies with isolated rain showers or thunderstorms due to easterlist localized thunderstorms. Light to moderate winds from east to southeast with slight to moderate seas. Local news. A Davao City Councilor announced an upcoming investigation into the state of the Francisco Bangui International Airport, also known as Davao International Airport, DIA. Councillor Jesus Joseph Susobrado, who chairs the Committee on Rules, Privileges, Laws, and Ordinances, shared in a media interview on Friday morning, April 19, 2024, at the Sangguniang Panglungsod, that the 20th City Council will commence the probe or these probes during their next session on April 23. Susobrado mentioned plans to invite representatives from the Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines, CAAP, and other officials to participate in the session. The 20th Davao City Council passed a revised comprehensive anti-smoking ordinance of Davao City on the third and final reading on Tuesday morning, April 16, 2024, at the Sangguniang Panglungsod. Councilor Luna Acusta 
Chairperson of the Committee on Peace and Public Safety, proposed amendment to Ordinance Number 0037-19, Series of 2019. The newly approved ordinance aims to protect minors from smoking and tobacco use. The ordinance prohibits smoking in public places, government-owned vehicles, accommodations, and entertainment establishment, among others. Officially, smoking is banned within 100 meters of schools, public grounds, or areas frequented by minors, except in designated smoking areas. Minors are not permitted within designated smoking vaping areas, DSBAS. The State Weather Bureau announced on Sunday, April 21, that the entire region of Dabao and Caraga will experience slight to moderate rains due to a through of a low pressure area, LPA, persisting for 24 hours. The announcement also identified specific areas in southern Mindanao where flash floods and landslides may occur during continuous moderate to heavy downpours, especially in disaster prone zones. According to the daily public forecast of the Philippines Atmospheric, Geographic, and Astronomical Services Administration, Pag-asa, Caraga and the Dabo region will have cloudy skies with scattered rain showers and thunderstorm caused by the LPAs through. The rest of Mindanao will experience partly cloudy to cloudy skies conditions with isolated rain showers or thunderstorms due to localized thunderstorms. Winds will be light to moderate from the east to northeast, with seas expected to be slight to moderate. Meanwhile, a ridge of a high-pressure area, HPA, will extend over the eastern section of Luzon. The Dabo City Police Office, DCPO, has reputed claims circulating on Facebook regarding allegations that Citizens are being compelled to attend case hearing without any criminal charges or legal history against them. In a public advisory issued on Saturday, April 20, 2024, the DCPO clarified that such procedures are not part of their standard operation and are not outlined in their operational manual. The DCPO emphasized that any information suggesting otherwise is unverified and likely a scam. Urging Dabawanians to exercise caution if they receive similar messages. Therefore, we clarify that there is no truth to this process. We advise the Dabawanians to be skeptical if they receive such messages, as it might be a scam. The announcement added. <music> national News The Philippine National Police, PNP, has approved a policy regulating the bearing of and sporting of tattoos of its personnel. PNP Chief of the Public Information Office, PIO, Colonel Jean Pajardo said Monday, April 22, 2024. In a press conference, Pajardo said, under Memorandum Circular 24 or 2024-023, which was approved on March 19, 2024, both uniformed and non-uniformed or civilian police personnel are required to have their visible tattoos removed. They are also required to execute an affidavit declaring that their tattoos that are not visible, noting that they are no longer allowed to have additional tattoos in any part of their body, whether visible or not while they are still in the service. 
The Emir of the State of Qatar, Sheikh Tamin bin Hamad Al Thani, arrived in the Philippines on Monday, April 22, 2024, for a two-day visit that aims to strengthen the bilateral ties of the Philippines and Qatar. Upon his arrival in the country, Sheikh Tamin was welcomed by President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. in Malacanang, where they also held a bilateral meeting. Marcos and Sheikh Tamin witnessed the signing of an agreement between Philippines and Qatar, such as on the waiver of visa requirements for holders of diplomatic and special or official passports. In a bid to combat human trafficking, the Philippines and Qatar committed to advance labor protection in both countries. Through exchange of expertise in the field of legislation and exchange of studies and research. International News Tens of millions of Indians have voted on the first day of a staggered general election that ends on 1st of June. Almost a billion people are eligible to cast their votes or ballots in a seven-phase election to the 543 seats lower house of the parliament, Prime Minister Narinda Modi of the ruling Bharatiya Janata Party, BJP, is seeking a third consecutive term. Several key opposition parties, including the Congress, have formed an alliance in many states to take a BJP. Result will be announced on the 4th of June. Key concerns include a job crisis, rising prices, a clamp down on dissent and opposition, and the politics of religion. The Israeli military intelligence chief has resigned, saying he took responsibility for the failures before Hamas attack on Israel on 7th of October. The Israel Defense Forces IDF said Major General Aharon Haliva would retire once his successor was selected. In a letter, he acknowledged that his intelligence dictator directorate did not live up to the task we were entrusted with. He is the first senior figure to step down over the attack, which were the deadliest in the Israel history. Israeli military and intelligence officials missed or ignored multiple warnings before hundreds of Hamas gunmen breached the Gaza border fence that day and attacked nearby Israeli community, military bases, and a music festival. Entertainment News On the tortured Poets Department's standout tracks, but Daddy, I Love Him. Taylor Swift claps back at those who criticize her for a former love affair, including some of her fans. When you're both the biggest pop star in the world and a talented lyricist known for your intensely personal songs, any new album release becomes not just a musical event, but a chance for millions of strangers to pour over the intricacies of your life. On Friday morning, Taylor Swift released her new album, The Tortured Poet Department, followed two hours later by the surprise release of the second bonus disc of 15 songs. First announced at the Germany in February and coming just 18 months after her last original studio album, Midnights. There have also been two recordings of her album, old albums, Speak Now and 
1989, in between. The record was widely expected to be inspired by the demise of the six-year relationship with the actor Joey Alwyn. Pia Wurzbach continues to make waves abroad as she is set to receive the Global Fashion Influencer of the Year Awards in Dubai later this month. The former Miss Universe is, a, is one of the winners of this year's Imigala Awards, which will be held at Festival Bay in Dubai, Festival City Mall on April 27 and 28. She will join the likes of Chinese actress Fan Bingbing, who has been named Global Fashion Icon of the Year. And for the sports, with three semifinal birds already secured in the 2024 PBL All Filipino Conference, the PLDT High Speed Heaters and the Cherry Tigo crossovers aim to dispatch their respective foes to shake or to stake their claims on the last Final Four slot. The Final Four lineup of the 2014 PVL All Filipino Conference is nearly complete. With league leading Petrogas, Chocomocho, and defending champion Creamline clinching three out of the four semifinal sports, there's just one berth left to claim. Judge Billingham scored a late winner as Real Madrid beat Barcelona to move 11 points, clear at the top of the La Liga after the after an entrailing El Clasico. Bellingham smashed into the roof of the net as the clock ticked into stoppage time as Real twice came from behind at the Bernabeu. Andres Christensen scored the opener by, for Barcelona but a Vinicius Jr. penalty had a game level at halftime. Fermin Lopez made or made it 2-1 to Barca before Lucas Vasquez equalized again. The victory puts Real firmly on track to reclaim the title with just six games left to play this season. It looks set to be a positive night for Barcelona when Christensen rose above Tony Cross to meet Rip Penhas corner after just six minutes. Featured stories to embrace her Jewish heritage and Mexican upbringing, Fanny Gerson adds spicy chili avocado, coriander and lime to her matcha bowl soup, a perfect twist for a Passover cider. Matcha bowl soup is a dish with elements that trace back to the Torah, the first five books of the Hebrew Bible. Biblical Israelites carried matzah, unleavened bread that resembles a large thin cracker, out with them from Pharaoh's Egypt during the Exodus. When the Jewish people were liberated from slavery, Jews under instruction from God have eaten matzah ever since during the Passover Seder, held this year on 22 on April through 30 of April, a symbolic ritual feast that includes a retelling of the biblical story. Bang Bang Special Crispy Bangos, together with Art Show, Philippines and Gateway Gallery, is mounting an art exhibit featuring drawings, paintings, and sculptures inspired by bangos or milk fish. 
Bangus Art, a collective art exhibit on our national feast, will be open to the public from April 21, 21 to May 3 at the Gateway Gallery in Araneta City, Quezon City. It will showcase 53 artists from Luzon and Mindanao with artworks made with oil, acrylic, mixed media, colored pencils, fused plastics, clay, metal, and other materials. And for the side stories, let's watch this. For the trivia, do you know that Davao City Vibrance Art 
seen can be explored in various galleries and museums. From the Daba Museum of History and Ethnography to the Tabula Rasa Art Gallery, art enthusiasts will find a haven for creative expression. That's all our news for today. Please like, share, subscribe, and click the bell button for you to be updated of the Pinoy Rob News Channel. This is Gilbert Lopez Martí Cazzo. Good morning.